Hello, how's everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel once again. Recently, I went to my hometown of Madurai in Tamil Nadu in South India. So every time I go there, I have a list of things to do. So this time, the thing that was top on my list was to visit a place called Keeladi. For people who don't know what Keeladi is about, it is a little village that sits on the banks of river Waihai, just on the outskirts on the, the historical city of Madurai in Tamil Nadu, India. Keeladi was identified as a potential site for archaeological excavation and excavation was started in 2015. And over the last 5-6 years, they have unearthed nearly 5,000 objects and every single of them confirms that an urban civilization existed there 2,500 years ago. Yes, 2,500 years ago. I had an opportunity to visit the place and there was a little museum where they have displayed all the findings and I was mesmerized by the findings from Kiladi. So I thought I should share that with you. The purpose of this video is to share my experience and what I saw there with you all. Please watch it continuously. I'm sure you will absolutely love it. Hello, how's everyone? Today, I'm in a very historical place. I'm in a village called Kiladi, which is a Sangha Mage excavation site. This is situated near the historical city of Madurai in Tamil Nadu in South India. The modern day city that is close to Kiladi is Madurai, which is also called as Athens of the East because of its rich historical heritage. Madurai is in the state of India called Tamil Nadu, which means the land of the Tamils. Tamil is the only language that belongs to the old classical language group that is still spoken by people in Tamil Nadu. What it means is someone who can speak Tamil can still understand a poem that was written 2000 years ago in Tamil. That's how ancient Tamil is. During the Sangam era, we don't know how many poems were written, but all we got today is around 2,800 poems. They have compiled that into 18 textbooks. What these Sangam age literature talks about is mainly about the life of people during the Sangam era. It talks about everyone right from the king to the common man. It talks about every aspect of life in detail. But critics fail to acknowledge. They've always denied saying that these are not history, but just imagination of ancient Tamils. The reason being there was no strong evidence to support these poems or literature until 2015 when this place Kiladi was found. So the findings from Kiladi and other places called Sivakalai and Adichanalu was sent to Beta Analytic Laboratory in Florida for radiocarbon dating. And the findings were unbelievably ancient. The findings in Kiladi 
and other archaeological sites near Adichanallur and other places in another riverbed have completely changed or rewritten the geopolitical and history of the landscape of the Indian subcontinent. Here I am at the entrance of the site. So all I could see on the left is the display of the images they have taken from different stages of excavation. The one on the left is from the second stage. As you walk in, I could see a tent on the right, a white tent. That's where the excavation site is. And they have displayed the images from the sixth stage of excavation there. I'm getting a bit closer now. I'm getting a bit more excited now. So what I could see on my left is the museum. And the one on my right is the excavation site where all these magics were unearthed. I'm really excited. It's a special feeling. Now, I've got a huge dilemma whether to go into the museum first or the excavation site first. After a bit of a debate, I've decided to go into the museum first. I'm feeling very emotional. Something special about this place. Some kind of connectivity. The people who lived here 2500 years ago could very well be my ancestors. This museum is red carpeted throughout. Looks very welcoming. So all I could see this map of Tamil Nadu with all the excavation sites. And then there is a little bit of history about River Vaigai and its origin. And this map shows the excavation sites along the banks of River Vaigai alone. They've identified nearly 200 potential sites of which Kiladi is just one. The next one is what we are seeing here are the bricks excavated from the houses in Kiladi's excavation site. Historians say they look very similar to the bricks that were used in Indus Valley civilization. This section was a very interesting one. They found enormous number of evidences that points to a trace of an agrarian society and a cattle rearing society. They found nearly 70 bones of animals, mainly humped ox, cows, buffaloes, wild boar, deers, and other animals. So what historians are saying are, so these cattle were reared to help them with farming, and wild boar and deer were hunted down for meat. Contrary to the popular belief that the Indian subcontinent is a predominant vegetarian society, Keeladi Tamils were predominant meat eaters. This sickle was found at the excavation site. They look exactly similar to the one that's been used by farmers to harvest crops in Tamil Nadu even today. So what we are seeing here or the Kiladi excavation trenches models. So these are dummies. So these dummies gives us an idea of how organized the streets were in Kiladi. Their architectural skills, their advanced technological skills, 
how organized the streets were. Looks like they had a separate canal system for fresh water, sewage disposal. Looks like each house had their own toilets and each street had a well for themselves. That's how advanced Keeladi Tamils were. We have just seen the model trenches. So what we are seeing here are the real terracotta pipes that were excavated from the site here. So these are the terracotta pipes that were used in the drainage system in Keeladi, both for sewage and for fresh water. Archaeologists could establish close similarities between these pipes and the pipes used in drainage systems in Indus Valley civilization. This section demonstrates the roofing tiles. These roofing tiles are the one that were used in the houses of Keeladi. You wouldn't believe these are exactly the tiles that are used in modern day houses in Tamil Nadu even today. When you talk about a civilization, there will be an iconic image that brings that civilization straight in front of your eyes. And when it comes to Keeladi, this is that iconic image. These are ring wells that's found on many places in Keeladi. What we're looking at are the dummies, but the real ones are in the excavation sites within the trenches, which I'll show in a while. This is another very, very exciting finding from Keeladi. This is about the pottery. The pottery in Keeladi tells us two important things. One is how prevalent education was in 6th century BCE and the other one is the technological advancement of Keeladi Tamils in pottery making. Let's look at the prevalence of education in Keeladi first. So what you see on these wooden pottery are called graffiti or scribblings. So what it mainly says is it mainly names are written on these potteries. So archaeologists say there are two types. One is the scribblings or the graffiti are done when the pottery is wet, which means they are done by the people who make the pottery. The other one, the majority of them are scribbled on potteries that's already been baked, which means it is the person who owns those potteries have inscribed their name onto it. So this tells us how prevalent education was among common men in Keeladi society. So if you look closely, some of the pottery will be black and red color. So to, to generate those pottery, you need the furnace to be heated to 1100 degrees centigrade. Somehow, ancient Tamils knew the technology to generate such a level of heat to generate that color. Here, we are looking at the graffiti that are seen on the pottery of Keeladi on the left and Indus Valley Civilization on the right. There are so much striking similarities which proves the popular theory that Tamil civilization is the extension or continuation of the Indus Valley civilization. But 
with the current available evidences this theory is very difficult to prove because there is a thousand to thousand five hundred years gap between when Indus Valley civilization ended and the Tamil civilization started. Maybe findings in future might take us close to proving that theory. Apart from the unbelievable findings we have seen so far, there were more findings that justified Kiladi was a very advanced urban civilization. Weaving was a flourishing industry, economy and commerce flourished. The weighing scales used 2500 years ago are pretty much similar to the what we are using today. Enormous number of toys, terracotta wheels, jewelries, bangles, dices which we still use. These are luxury items only a very well advanced civilization could have used. Of over the 5000 artifacts that were discovered, not many proved Kiladi was a religious society. Apart from these findings, numerous jewelries and precious stones were found at Kiladi. This suggested that ancient Tamils traded with other advanced civilizations across the globe. The materials and the findings we have seen so far proves beyond doubt that Kiladi was an advanced urban civilization that existed 2500 years ago on the banks of River Vaihai near the modern day city of Madurai in Tamil Nadu. I think we have spent too much time on the exhibition. Now it's time to sneak peek into the excavation site. So look at look at the trenches they have excavated. So if you look closely, they are marked in numbers in these blue labels about the different layer of excavations. If you look at the pot, it's just below the number six, which means that was ex excavated at the sixth stage of excavation. When they send a sample, that's how they label them. And on the next trench is the iconic image I was mentioning earlier the ring wells, which are the hallmark of Kiladi excavation site. All the informations and the findings I shared with you in this video are all evidence based. I will share the link for all those in the description down below. Thank you very much for patiently watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it very much. I shall see you in another video. Until then, take care. Bye now.